Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about picking your stack. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story. Frederick, thank you so much for all the invaluable insights you share with us. Oh, no worries. I, I'm glad to hear that you enjoy my little hobby videos. I would like I would greatly appreciate your opinion on my situation. I am in the unfortunate no degree bootcamp or prior software development job category. I did take about nine months of part time classes learning object oriented programming with Java, HTML, and CSS, and then I learned JavaScript on my own. As of one month ago, I started learning Node.js to make some functional apps and was going to start learning React soon too. The other day I was offered an interview for an internship by a mutual friend if I learned some ASP.NET and .NET Core, C Sharp, Angular and SQL. Interviews are a dime a dozen and mean nothing I understand that and even though my friend seems sincere about trying to help me get my foot in the door, he is not the hiring manager. My main question is will switching to a less common stack, particularly uh, .NET Core and Angular in my portfolio projects, <clears throat> make a massive difference of what employers think of me? Should I stick to Node and React since that would probably be 70% of the what the 70% of the employers in my region are looking for? So I would say that this comes down to you having a fairly good gut feeling on of your market value and you seem to have sort of, I'm not going to say that you have a low sensation of mark, of your market value here or like you feel that your your market value is low, but it, it, it sort of, you, you, you seem to think that it's not as high as you wa would wa want it to be. And that's okay. It's perfectly okay. But with that said, I think that you need to think about the risk management here. So, because I think that this comes down to a risk uh, risk management problem. What I mean by that is that you know already that the vast majority of employers are going to look for a Node.js developer, whereas the in the, on the opposite side of the spectrum, you now have the opportunity to go for a employment that will give you a stack that is not as popular or not as common. Now the thing is, in general terms, the two things that every single employer looks at, and usually in that same order, well it can switch a little bit, but what they are looking for in general terms is number one, experience level. How long have you been coding at the professional level? Number two, do you have the relevant skills or do you have knowledge of the relevant tools? This can switch a little bit, but they're always a factor. It's almost, You can't have one over the other. This is like having a brain and a heart. They are, they are varying in a varying degree important, but they're always a factor when somebody is hiring a software developer. So, with that said, that leaves you in a situation where, in one scenario, you might be able to get a job just because you have knowledge of the tooling, but you have less experience. And in another scenario, you might be able to get the job if you have a lot of experience. But you do, but you only have maybe some basic understanding of the tooling, if that makes sense. I've had this situation happen many times. I know a lot of developers. I work in a company where this is the norm at this point, because in this specific company, we use Scala, and Scala is a very, it's very hard to find people who are really really good at Scala. So usually, what we do is that we hire people who have an interest in learning it, but have the experience to actually do that. And you can do, you can think about this the same way. If you feel, I mean, you have an interview opportunity now, you, that doesn't mean that you have to go and become a crazy C sharp person or an angular person and like go really, really heavy into that. But it does give you an opportunity that you don't have today. And that's the risk part that I was, men I, I mentioned. You have to try to gauge how likely, I like me, how many interviews are you getting for you Node.js know, development? Or do you feel like it, it's likely 
that you will get work as a Node.js developer because that's the ideal case of course if it is the thing that you are already studying and it's the most common stack in your region well that's a very good thing but you have to stand set that in proportion to how likely you are to get a job because all the practice in the world and all the studying in the world doesn't really amount to much if you don't get to work because the professional as I said it's always two things skills and professional work experience these things are very very codependent without without both it's both it's you, your value as a software developer is not gonna go anywhere most uh, most of the time so ideally figure out if there is a good chance of you getting a job as a Node.js developer and go for that if at all possible but if you are even the slightest bit unsure don't dismiss the fact that you might get a job in a different language it's not a good in my personal opinion a good long-term strategy to have the idea that you should only ever stick with one stack it's a very good idea to get a foundation knowledge and learn the core skills first and foremost and core skills are that's what's beautiful about them because programming in one language and programming in another language some there's a lot of overlap so that, and that's why as, as I was saying a lot of companies will actually hire you even though you may not have worked with their specific tools just as long as you have the core skills and you really have the experience right and that's the other way that you can go about this imagine that you're getting if you get this job as a, as a C sharp developer you're still gonna learn a lot about programming and you're going to get that all important experience which is probably in some as I said in some cases it's more important that you have work experience than that you know a specific tool so what I want you to take away from this is that you're gonna have to do a risk analysis for yourself I can't answer that question for you you need to look at what is the likelihood that you will get a job uh, working as a Node.js developer if that is truly the most popular stack it's probably the best thing for you because usually uh, it's a good investment to learn the tools that are most common in your region because as I've said before it it's not that often it matters all that much which programming language you work in as much as that you are working the skills you have and the experience are both extremely important factors but in many cases experience is so important that you can actually transition to another stack if you wanted to and I think that that's something that you should always carry with you you can always switch stacks if you have the core skills in place however if you feel unsure and you don't actually know if you're going to be able to get a job as readily it might be a good way for you to get the foot in the door by going with a job where you may not work in that specific language or that specific stack that you want to work in but it's going to give you that extremely important experience and then you could take the make the transition later on if you should you should choose, choose so I think that that's what you need to think about and you have to make that uh, risk analysis for yourself have a great day